Are you ready? Yes. So I can just start at any time and you'll cut what you need? Yes. Okay. So I says to the guy, three guys walk into a bar with a ship steering wheel attached to his belt. We interrupt this lame intro for a breaking news development. The Diamond Society will be taking on new members for 1.15. Check the link for the, in the Discord down in the description for more details. Schedule? We don't need no stinking schedules. <laughs> nope. We've, uh, you can tell we had a few defections down in the low bar there. Not quite as many names. Did a little bit to my morale. A little hard time doing things. Not to say stuff didn't get done. Uh, this. Oh, there we are. Yeah, hang on. Let's get out of the way. <laughs> this is connected to. Okay, get out of inventory. This is connected to Vid's mob farm that he built. For me out here in the desert. Uh, let's just go upstairs, shall we? Haven't quite got the place completely secure yet. I do finally have a way up and outside that isn't a ladder in the middle of the floor. I have no idea what I'm going to do with it yet, though. Uh, my biggest issue is that uh, Mr. Vitigarvia, uh, when he built this, unfortunately built it about four blocks off center. The whole thing. From what I've got going on. Four blocks. Sorry, Vid, you're gonna have to come back. I need you to come back, move the whole thing over four blocks. Yeah, that's not gonna happen, is it? Uh, worth a try. Wasteland is I don't think I've done a whole lot. A couple more ruins. That's all done over there. One thing I did do, and I'm going to get involved in today, is a village over here. Well, it still technically counts as a village. There's like three buildings and uh, four villagers. Uh, the last time you would have saw this, uh, C-3PO put up a video of the guys defending it. And they did a great job. It's an awesome video. Uh, I think I would have added some battle music, and that's about it. Beyond that, what pretty cool video. This was all sand. So now we're all boxed in. Nice box canyon. Done everything I can to mob proof this place. Even going as far as to path block. The, this looks terrible, doesn't it? Like this little bit of sand sticking out there. I gotta go all the way around. This. I built this. Uh, basically just threw dirt on top of the sand and some grass blocks to seed it and let it go. And then realized that, uh, that Gingerbread left the... I mean, nope. <laughs> Someone's having boat troubles. That these two raised spots where the sand was was going to make it really difficult to do what I'm going to do. Because I wouldn't have a lot of room. I'm also, unfortunately, kind of waiting for it to all finish gra uh, grassing over so I can turn it into path blocks. I also have to make sure that I am far enough away from my actual village over there in my base. Which means I'm going to have to start way over on this end, but I'm kind of okay with that. Uh, I'm going to have to grab all of my shulker boxes and sort my inventory out. And we start in on making this place look a little less sterile. So, the first part of the plan is that this is going to be a place that, uh... These are buildings that have survived... One, two, three, four, five... Whatever it was that happened here. One, two, three, four, five... Not one, two, three, four, five... That one. That have survived the, uh... Disaster that occurred here. It turned everything into a big old wasteland. Which means 
They may have survived. It doesn't mean they came out completely unscathed. So the first things we're going to do is we're going to build... We're going to build a bit of a frame of a building. That, like... Obviously, it's it's been, you know... The top half's gone, whatever. And someone just come along and figure it out how to build uh, something they can live in. So I should be one, two, three. You are not a block that's going to be seen. So I will go three. Hang on. I'm trying to look at my uh, my MS Paint thing off of the side here to make sure I don't mess my, uh, my proportions up too badly. And then you. And then doot. All the way across. Normally I hate acacia. Uh, there's you will you cannot change my mind that acacia planks look like anything other than an atrocity to the senses. Uh, that said, acacia wood looks like nice old aged wood. Here we are. Gonna go. This would have been a cross timber building built off to the side. Do -do. And then we'll get to work on our second layer, which isn't even going to be that high. Uh, front of the building's that side. That's my furnace kicking in because it's winter in Canada. Two. You're gonna be. You're gonna go one. And you're gonna go up two, just like that guy. Basic frame of the building. I should have brought some buttons along. Because as it is, I've created the only spot places in this entire area that are spawnable. Let's do that for the minute. There. So this would have been the frame of a building, we're going to come in with cobble floor in as much as it can be seen, which means i got to take up all of this. And, oh, right, I buried something here, that's right. <laughs> I just literally built right over top of all of this stuff when, uh, when I was Throwing dirt on top of it. Yep, that far too. And okay, four. The floor is basically going to be double thick because you're going to see, like over here, right? You can see the sand poking out underneath these path blocks. That looks terrible. I don't want that. Which means I get to expend a whole bunch of resources trying to undo it. I should have brought some more. Cobble. Grab throw some moss in here while we're at it. On the spot that no one's ever going to see. To do, to do. Bit of filler there. Now, my brick. So we're on a 5x4, and this is going to get really small, kind of really fast. Probably because I've miscounted something here. I did. Now, like I said, we're uh, working on a uh, 7 by 5 A building that's... Once we throw an interior... This is going to get really small, really fast. Not going to be a huge house, but just enough for a villager to conceivably live in. Now, I can hear you shrieking. What are you doing? That's... That's... Birch wood and it looks terrible. Uh, to which I respond, "Yes, you're absolutely correct. It uh, it does look terrible. It's an absolutely horrible looking block. Has no place in anything we're doing here. Actually, on top of that, I got a couple one level yet because we decided to get kind of fancy. And instead of building a building that's level with the ground, we're going to build one that's up by a bit." 
Could have swore I built cobble stairs. Hi, right, some stairs, please. Thank you. So one set of stairs here for our front door. Comes around. Oop, comes around that far. Uh, I have a door here somewhere. Because if you need anything, it's something for zombies to knock down. Which shouldn't happen here. Theoretically should not happen here. On account of us uh, having completely spawn-proof this place. So a quick bit of floor to deal with. Sorry, Mr. Mossy Cobb, we're going to have to move you somewhere where you'll be appreciated later. Do do do. Okay, give me that. So, birch wood back up. One, two, two. This, uh, I'd like to be able to cover that, but unfortunately I can't. It's going to be a roof in here. Maybe a window here. Nice big window, actually. Cut that down. Oh. Like that. <laughs> now, yeah, that's all... That looks weird. There's going to be a half slab roof in here. So, the top block there is going to be half buried in the ceiling. It's going to go around all of this, build our now very small house, with a window wherever that decided it wanted to be. Basic frame of the building up. Now, what we're going to do now is make this place look really small. A bit of this. As if that uh, timber frame were what was holding up the rest of the building. Maybe not like completely, but was doing a lot of the, the grunt work in holding this building up. Doo -doo. Sorry, I want that? No, it wants to come out one more, doesn't it? Yeah, no, it's good. No reason I completely forgot what I was doing with my own build. Not that that's haven't happened before. Okay, you. Break. This will be uh, be a whole bunch of work done to remind you that this place is all run down. Break, break. So just by doing that, uh, maybe I can salvage some of that wood. Come on. Please. And yes, I know the sun's going down on me here. Uh, it's okay, I've mostly spawn-proofed the whole thing. We've got now... The building looks a little... Not quite run down now, right? Because we haven't... We haven't roughed it up with cracked stone bricks. Or any of the mossy that I brought. Put. I had stairs on me, didn't I? I had stairs. I made stairs. There they are. It's not anywhere I need them to be. Put you down there. Put you down there. That. Right, so the timber frame had been holding up the rest of the building. Uh. The rest of the building, on the other hand, still has to get built up there, and it's uh, not going to be in terribly great condition. So after a little bit of covering up and stuff, we have what essentially is a basic house, right? The timber frame would have held up a larger stone structure, but the rest of the building is just not there anymore. Inside, we'll do some work in here, because obviously, like, no... 
we're going to let probably that villager go. And hopefully he'll find his way into here. But we need to make this place, still need to put this place up. Make this place a bit more interesting. So this... Uh, enter chest here, and I would like... Grab a tool. And I would like to grab some of those. Because after all, you can't rebuild a wasteland without... Oh, right. I have to do that first, too, don't I? Okay, you out. And you, and you, and you. I really don't have a water bucket on me. Seriously? Nope, there we are. Something I chide other people for not doing. I almost did it myself. So you go there. And now that I look at it, I'll have to do... Yeah, those will have to come out too. Where are you? You get me mossy cobble instead. Grab our dirt. Dirt back down. To do. And our little Mr. Villager will have something to do here. You have a compost around here somewhere. Right there. Bucket except you don't need that no more. You'll be able to. We want him to work like. One of the issues I had with doing this in creative is that the idiot kept getting himself stuck. He'd run around there, uh, play with his wheat, and then not be sure where to go afterwards. Because villagers dumb. Let's put your composter right there. It's gonna need. I would go with a wood fence, but uh, frankly. Like stripped birch looks good as like old wood. I think this is good for old wood. Birch look like bleached, but in a place where wood might not be that plentiful. Do you really want to use it on a fence? You're very quickly gonna get a torch. And then over on this side because this building is still a little dull. Okay, not gonna lie. The building is still a little bit dull. We're gonna come in here. We're gonna realize we put this bar in the wrong spot. I realize we didn't need a window on that wall. Bars, where are you? Why are you gonna do me like this? Got the rest of these. Rip, 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 rip. Fill this in with cobble. And then... I need... Good old stairs. And then some good old inventory room. So to throw a little asymmetry into this building... We've given the guy a little spot to keep his extra hay bales. And one thing we have to do now is remember this is this is a place that's ruined. Right? So we need to have like a visible evidence of ruin. Which things like you know, blocks on the ground. Chunks of Stuff like this, right? So it's fallen off of there. They haven't picked all of it up, but they've picked some of it up. I have these. Scatter some of these around, and then let's grab a half a stack of buttons. Because after all, you need rocks sitting on things, right? I'd love to put a rock right there. My creative world, this is all in grass. So the rocks look like they're exactly where they ought to be. 
Yeah, shoot that as I still need to light the soy cell up. If I convert this into grass, which I should convert some of it into grass, now that I think about it. Let's grab some of this. I should be able to light up enough of this that it won't be that bad an issue. And we can give this guy a little bit of a lawn. So we go like this. As if the, the fact that the guy is a farmer, he's kind of figured out how to get stuff to grow again. Granted, it's a desert, so it's going to look like like hot snot, right? Here's dirt back. Come here, give me. That. And I can throw a couple rocks in the ground. And if I have any... I have any bones? Which I have a feeling I don't have any bones over here. Can I make some? One piece of bone meal. Ah, oh, for real? Okay, fine. You know what? I have my food on me. Give me this. There. The uh, tiny bit of nature the guy has managed. <laughs> well, a bit more scattered around here. I did bring bushes. And I did bring uh, a few other things to liven it up a bit. But as far as wasteland houses go, we are really just a roof and some decoration away. So I'm going to need... Da, da, da. Slab all of this. Once I have enough slabs. I do like that uh, stripped logs still turn into planks. I guess all you've really done is rip the bark off them, right? Cover this all over. Dude. Somewhere on the other side of that wall, there's a wandering trader. And a billion mobs because there's nothing there's nothing hiding behind that more stone on me I need some more buttons if I can save a button here give me that run this up a little higher because that ultimately this all has to be spawn proof. The last thing I need is to build all of this stuff and then have it get overrun by pillagers because I accidentally left one space open. Kind of be really terrible. Hi. Back on my roof, please. Buttons aren't terribly intrusive. There we go. You can go away. Put our closer roof back up, so we should all be... Oh, almost. Button here. Button there. Button there. Those need them too, don't they? I was close, I almost forgot that. So many buttons. And finally. Roof's all on. We've got some decoration around it. Got some uh, leaves with hidden lighting sources, just so it's not completely dark. Around here. Inside. Dude has a bed. It's got a few reading materials, a place to grow stuff, something to look at. Oh, his first attempt at uh, gardening. Place to hang his hat. All right, buddy. Is there one of you in here or two of you? Break your bed. Come here, pal. Come here. You're being evicted. I better light this up first. Done. Here we are. Right over there. You see it? 
your new home, buddy. Congratulations. You are the first first guy here. It's your job to try to make this place a better place. You got some food to grow over here. You got a composter to stand on. You have no bloody idea where your crops are, do you? I didn't think so. Anyway, uh, hopefully to get slightly more regular content. Once we get a few more people on, uh, I've got a mini games area to work on. And hopefully work won't beat my ass quite so hard that uh, I'm too exhausted to do anything. I will see you in the future.